Hi there. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about what I'm trying to do with this channel and maybe more explicitly what I'm not trying to do. Some of the feedback that I've got from colleagues and friends who've uh, watched some of these videos is that I don't always explain what it is that I'm using and I, I don't give any guidance about how to use those tools. And I thought about trying to do some of those kinds of videos and I thought that's not really what I'm interested in doing with the channel. So the channel is not going to become a series of tutorials on how to use Zotero for reference management, for example. First of all, I think that there are a lot of videos on YouTube that already deal with those kinds of issues. So if you want to know how to install Zotero, the basics of using Zotero, even more advanced techniques of using Zotero, <clears throat> there are plenty of options available already on YouTube, and I'm not sure that I'm going to be able to add much value. What I'm far more interested in talking about are the kinds of problems that academics, researchers, authors, any kind of knowledge worker might be experiencing. And I can talk a little bit about how I've addressed some of those problems and try to learn from what other people are doing. So, for example, if we are going to talk about um, note taking, you might use Evernote. And um, if you use Evernote, that's great. That works for you. I use something called Joplin. Uh, Joplin is an open source note-taking application uh, that runs across multiple platforms and uh, on your, um, your phone, your tablet. I find it really useful. But I'm not really interested in trying to convince anyone else that they should use Joplin. If you use Evernote, then you should be able to watch the videos that I'm making and you should be able to just swap out Joplin for Evernote. So when I talk about note-taking, those principles should apply to you. Um, similarly with browsers, uh, maybe you use Vivaldi, maybe you use Brave. If you're on Apple, you're probably using Safari. God forbid you might be using Chrome. I use Firefox. Now, I'm not going to explain how to install extensions for all of those browsers. Um, I'm using the Joplin extension. Here it is. Now, for me to explain how to install the Joplin extension, I know that most people are probably running Chrome um, or Safari. Um, am I now going to explain to all of those people how to go about installing that extension um, on all the browsers? No. Um, similarly with knowledge management, um, you've got Notion, Roam, Foam, which is the open source version of Roam, and Obsidian. I use Obsidian, so when I talk about taking permanent notes and connecting them to each other, I'm going to be talking about using Obsidian. If you use Roam or Notion, then the principles that I talk about should be applicable to you and you should be able to swap out whatever I'm using with what you're using. If I'm going to use this channel to talk about how to use Obsidian to solve this kind of knowledge work problem, then it needs to be clear that you can solve the same problem by using Notion or Foam. I'm not trying to convince anyone that Obsidian is where you need to be. And then the last example is just with reference management. If you use Mendeley, then great. Go ahead and keep using Mendeley. Uh, Jabref is another open source um, reference management system that is really good. If you're on Mac, then you might be using Papers. I happen to use Zotero. Uh, you can do more or less the same thing with all of these different systems. But I want you to feel most comfortable with the system that you are using. I'm going to talk about uh, principles and it so happens that I use certain services and platforms to put those principles into practice um, as part of the knowledge work that I do. I have certain reasons for why I may have chosen Zotero and maybe in the course of the series I'll talk about what those reasons are but I certainly don't expect anyone to make any changes to the platforms that they use um, because of what I'm using. Um, the other thing that I'm not going to do is set up a demo environment. So if you watch uh, these kinds of videos on YouTube, you'll see that the people talking about 
you know, how I use Obsidian to do X. Um, they're, none of them are actually showing you what it is that they do. They've set up a demo environment that's empty or it's got a, a few resources in it. And it, it kind of creates the impression that it's not real. Um, so I'm not going to set up that demo environment. When I'm talking about note taking in Joplin, these are my notes. Um, the, these are the notes that I'm working with and um, I'm going to use the actual work that I'm doing to try and demonstrate how I solve problems that I come across as an academic worker. Um, same thing with Zotero. These are my references in Zotero and so every time we look at this it's going to look different because I will have deleted some resources, added some more. Um, it's it's really important that I am using this channel as a way to think in public and to try to share some of what I've learned about how to address some of the problems that I come across as an academic who's doing knowledge work. Again, same thing with Obsidian. These are my actual permanent notes. Um, I haven't created a, a separate vault which is limited where I can say, oh, look, this is how you import a markdown file. This is how you do internal links. Um, that's not really what I'm interested in. And then, you know, finally, if I'm talking about uh, writing in Markdown, um, these are the actual notes that I'm working on at the moment in Visual Studio Code. I hope as part of that process, I'm showing that these are real problems um, and these are the real systems that I'm working on. Um, the, this isn't a, a, a how-to series where I show you you know how to install the different programs and how to install the extensions um, you know as I said maybe I'll mention those things in passing but that really isn't what this channel is about so just to wrap up this channel is not going to be a series of how-to videos where I talk about how to install software how to install extensions to those tools um, and uh, where I convince you that um, you know this piece of software is better than this piece of software. Um, this is really about me being an academic and trying to think in public about some of the problems that I come across as an academic and where I share some of the principles that I use to try and uh, do better knowledge work, to produce better outputs. Um, and if you think that any of these things are useful for you, then um, that's great. And then the, the other thing is that I'm kind of making a commitment that uh, the problems that I talk about will be real problems where I'm talking about um, or demonstrating using the my real systems. Um, I'm not going to be setting up any demo demo environments where, um, you know, it's, it's pretend. So, yeah, I, I don't know if this is useful, um, but I thought it was uh, important to clarify what this uh, channel is not going to be. I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Uh, drop me a line to let me know if you think that this might have some utility. All right, thanks very much. Bye.